welcome to signal and system lecture series here i'll be explaining amplitude of fundamental components in fourier series so how to identify amplitude of fundamental components in given fourier series so to explain that this is my question find the amplitude of fundamental component of signal given by x of t is equals to 3 sin 60 plus 30 degree plus 4 cos 12t minus 60 degree so how to identify amplitude now see before i explain this example solution first of all you should know some basics which i am going to explain now see first of all what is first harmonics so first harmonics that is having frequency omega 0 if we talk about second harmonic in that case it is having frequency 2 omega 0 for third harmonic frequency is 3 omega 0 so likewise for nth harmonic you can say frequency is n times of omega 0 now what is fundamental component fundamental component is having frequency omega 0 so this is fundamental frequency so first harmonic means omega 0 frequency is what fundamental frequency so this is what one thing which we should know now if any equation is been given to you how to identify fundamental frequency so in case of any equation given to us fundamental frequency that we can identify by gcd of all frequency fundamental frequency that we can identify by gcd greatest common divisor of all frequency so if big equation is been given to us greatest common divisor that will be fundamental frequency so this is what we should understand and then we can solve any problem based on that so here we have a question and that question is x of t is equals to 3 sin 60 plus 30 degree and cos 12t minus 60 degree so here we have if i say omega 1 so that is 6 and if i say omega 2 so that is 12 we don't need to see phase of it right so omega 1 that is this and omega 2 that is this 12 now we should not say directly like omega 0 is equals to omega 1 we should see what is gcd of this two so gcd of 6 and 12 greatest common divisor so 6 by 12 so greatest common divisor is 6 over here right so as gcd is 6 we can say omega 0 is equals to omega 1 and that is 6 so fundamental frequency is 6 so this term that is actually fundamental component and what is the amplitude of this term amplitude is 3 so fundamental component is having amplitude 3 and one can say this is e1 first harmonic so first harmonic that is happening at 6 radian per second so obviously here 12 is been there so omega 2 definitely that has to be 2 omega 0 so one can say this is what second harmonic and 
एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ सेकेंड हार्मोनिक इज फोर सो दैट इज हाउ वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई विच हार्मोनिक इज देर एंड वॉट इज द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ डिफरेंट हार्मोनिक नाउ टू एक्सप्लेन दैट लेट अस है वन मोर क्वेश्चन सो इट विल बी मोर क्लियर नाउ सी इफ क्वेश्चन इज एक्स ऑफ टी दैट इज टू साइन थ्री टी प्लस फिफ्टीन डिग्री लेट अस से दिस इज सिक्स साइन नाइंटी प्लस थर्टी डिग्री प्लस एट कॉस ट्वेल्टी प्लस फिफ्टीन डिग्री सी दिस इज हाउ फूर सीरीज इज बीन गिवन टू अस सो हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई वॉट इज दैट विच इज दर इन साइड ऑफ दिस फूरियर सीरीज सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू सी वॉट आर द फ्रीक्वेंसी कंपोनेंट्स सो हियर ओमेगा वन सो दैट इज थ्री हियर ओमेगा टू so that is 9 and here omega 3 that is 12 so now we need to identify gcd of this three frequencies so gcd 3 9 and 12 so greatest common divisor of this is 3 greatest common divisor of this is 3 so 3 can be divided by 9 it could be divided by 12 so greatest common divisor is 3 so as greatest common divisor is 3 we can say this term this is first harmonic right or one can say fundamental frequency now see next harmonic that has to be at 60 right and here it is 9 so this is what third harmonic it is not second harmonic so this is third harmonic as second harmonic is not present second harmonic has to be at 2 into omega 0 here omega 0 is 3 so this is third harmonic and one should understand this is if you divide this 12 by omega 0 so 12 by 3 that is 4 means this is fourth harmonic and amplitude of each harmonic that we can calculate over here for fundamental amplitude is 2 for third harmonic it is 6 and for fourth harmonic it is 8 so there could be question based on this basic understanding i hope that you are getting it from what i explain here and you can definitely write your questions and queries here based on whatever i am teaching and it should have relevance with what i teach here on my channel i have seen students are directly saying like sir can you teach image processing now i am not getting how they are directly asking that even if i teach them without having knowledge right what will i do if i don't have knowledge about image processing and even if i am teaching here it will not it will not make any sense so please ask questions which is having relevance like i am teaching here sig signal and system you should ask based on signal and system if i teach microwave you should ask based on microwave you should ask me questions like you should cover some other topics which is what i have not covered in my signal and system so that will makes a sense and probably i will try to make all those topics which is required here so that is how i think you should ask me queries i have seen so many comments that is not having any relevance with what i am teaching on some topics so i hope that sometimes it even gives me frustration like how could i reply and if i don't reply properly they might be thinking like person is arrogant it is not like that even i need to understand what is the problem actually 
if problem is unidentified then there is no meaning of to solve that i hope that you understood this what i mean to say here thank you so much for watching this video and i wish you will be studying it properly from my channel and you can download this from material which is uploaded on my application you can install application from description of all videos and you can access it free of cost i am providing it free of cost here from my channel thank you so much for watching this video